we doing a TV experience. And we have not done one in a while. So last time I did one was like, was like uh, never have I ever came out. And I, I seen what if I seen Haw, uh, Hawkeye, but me and Sway just, just the time could not get these videos up. But 2022 is a whole different monster. And what's going on is we got a new series out called Bel Air. Yo. Now, let me tell you something. If y'all like the Fresh Prince, because like I said, look, me and Q, we from Philly. Mm-hmm. All right, so, you know, and, and, and Q, like I said, I like the Fresh Prince. I wasn't in love with the Fresh Prince, not because it was bad. It's just that, you know, I never watched every Fresh Prince episode like I did Martin. Or anything like that. Like I, I, as soon as Mark come, I can tell you exactly what season it is by just looking at what's going on in that scene. I I can't do that with Fresh Prince, so that, that, that's what I meant. Well, you know that you know if the aunt different. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. So, but uh, I always thought the Fresh Prince was 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 a, was a cool concept. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, kid that grew up in West Philly, and all of a sudden. You know, you got you got to fight with some gangs, and then he had to move out to uh to, to Bel Air with his aunt and uncle, you know, because the guy was looking for him. And it's like they turned to one big comedy. If you sit there and actually think about it, you're like, wait a minute, the story, the actual story of the Fresh Prince, ain't really a comedy. That's some deep shit, really. Right. And I'm like, they turned to a sitcom. I was like, but yo, but they said, what if we did the Fresh Prince? without the comic what if we did it like it was supposed to be and then what if we put it in today's setting and i was like no nah, i'm cool that's why i said that first I'm like no nah, i'm cool but then they, they, they had like a little short then they had like a little teaser first i thought it was a fan made thing that came out a couple years ago and then this thing got wheels it got legs and this joint just took off and and they got the approval by Will Smith too, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. At first, it was a fan uh, YouTube video, and then he seen it. He was like, "Oh, that's a cool concept. We should do it." And then he and then he did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like, okay, so let's get the deep story about Will's, uh, uh, Will, and then we get Bel Air. So Bel Air uh, debuted on Peacock. Is it a Peacock series or does it come on? It's it's on Peacock. Oh, it's just a peak. Okay, so it, it yeah. weekly they gave us the first three episodes. Man, I have to say, I enjoyed myself. I know how it was going to be. They did change some things, mm-hmm. but honestly, it kind of helps fit with the story. So, Q, uh, real quick, your, your your overall thoughts of the first three. Uh, episodes before we start uh, kind of breaking it down and stuff like that um i just want to say that uh this is philly like philly everything about the first episode everything about this was philly i'm like nah this i it, I, it it's like the dude sound like he from fit like he sound like he from here you know what? He, the dude playing Jabari Bank, he sound like he's from here. Yo, side note. He did a better job sound like he's from Philly than um, uh, Valkyrie. What's her name? Oh, uh, Tessa Thompson. Yeah, Tessa Thompson did when she was in Creed. I'm sorry. Right. Tessa Thompson's like, she trying. I'm like, yo, sis, you not from Philly at all. You not from Philly. That, 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 right. that John is not authentic. John. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the S. Ugh, that joke was gross. But go ahead. But, um, yeah, uh, like, every, like, dude, just everything about this was just like Philly. And I think the only person from Philly is the villain, uh, the dude Easy, who's playing Rashad. He's the uh-huh. only one. I think, I think he's the only person in this from Philly. So, like, ah, man, it's just, it's just, it's just good that, like, we're being represented. It, Right, like the rep- the Philly representation that was all is West right. Philly. Too. They really, they really yes. West Philly, didn't they? They was down, yeah. They was out there in West. Yeah, I'm like, man, that's my mama hood. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know that. I know that train and that bridge right there. That, that, that was it. Cause Fifty Second, isn't it? Yeah, that was that was Market Street Station. Mar- yeah. I'm, like, yo. I'm like, that's my mama old house. Like, yo, bro, it was. Man, listen, I was in there geeking out. Like, nah, so they really in Philly. Uh. 
I don't know if we're doing a breakdown yet. If we're just doing no, an overall no, 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 reaction. No, no, no. That's my, that's my overall. We are going to do a breakdown, but I was going to get prime starts on. on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my reaction. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, I thought it was. I thought it was all right. Like I like the concept. I like how they stuck to the concept. Cause like some people just all, all of a sudden not gonna give it a try just because like oh they should mess with it. But I'm like they actually this is something they actually care about though. Like this is I feel like something not just to make a quick buck. This is something that they actually put thought and time into, which is different from a lot of other reboots or whatever. Because it's a lot of other reboots just for the dollar. This one I felt like they changed it and they made changes for the better too. Keep it going for however long they want to, if they want to keep it going. Yeah, because I, I, I think because I, I think they're trying to be as authentic as possible as they can mm -hmm. be. And like I said, within the uh, first episode, so you 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 see all that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I thought this was going to be like a like a like a regular, not a PG show, but like a TV fourteen show. Oh and no! They the say it in any The first word you hear is the N word. I'm like, oh, the white people ain't like this. One. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 right on that one. So, uh, I'll get my initial thoughts because, I, like I said, I was watching. I was like, man, this thing is good. Because, like I said, you guys, for somebody who wasn't like the deepest fan into Fresh Prince, I was like, because number one, for, uh, for instance, for, for a couple of characters, I couldn't stand Hillary in the, in the show. I couldn't stand. Oh, her. we gonna get to that too. But I love her in this series, though. Hold on, you, you can't stand who? Hillary. Oh yeah, she's she's the biggest change in the whole. In the yes, whole thing. Oh, okay. it was like there's a lot of big changes. There's there's a lot of big changes in this. And I love that. I was just like, as far as same thing with jazz. Same thing with even now even with Carlton. Like they made Carlton I, I, like just despicable. Listen, say it with me. Carlton is a coon. You know what I'm Here come the coons. <laughs> oh, he is a coon. <laughs> Was letting them white boys say the N word. I said, "Oh, yo!" But no. you know, it's it's like, but you know what? It's like that's what what you, you probably could see in the TV show. Cause I'm like, yo, because remember, because that scene right there when when they was dancing and, and, and rapping the song, the first thing I thought over the scene was, remember, she's a brick house. <laughs> house. <laughs> She's, She's mighty, mighty, mighty. mighty. <laughs> and letting right it all on, hang out. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of. I was like, okay, what a great way to put it in today's day. Well, we kind of bring that episode. We saw it in the first episode, kind of just like how it is, you know. Will's, you know, a top basketball star, and he's cocky. I mean, he's cocky as hell, too. And, but, uh,. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a scholarship to go to a school. And what I like is that his homie is just like, yo, you good in ball and you got a scholarship. Yo, your life is made. We about to get out the hood. Everything about to be good. But, for, but you know, his, his homie, you know, we talked about shit who went to JV or used to play ball, say, you know, if I was still playing ball, yeah, I'd still be on the bench. I'm like, that pride was getting in the way. Mm -hmm. So I like how they illustrated that, you know, you know he, he, he has this pride problem. He's like, yo, even when he dropped the line, what good is a scholarship if I ain't got my rep in Westfield? I'm like, what? And that was the thing in the in the original too, when they went back and Will kept talking, man, it's my rep, man. It's my rep. Are you talking about the one where he when they had the Will Smith sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the thing though. Now for those for both of y'all who who know Fresh Respect than I do. The homie that was in Bel Air is that supposed to be Ice Trade that Don Cheetah was in the show? Yes, yes. Okay, that's what I was trying to. Uh, so I was like this because he kept calling Trey, and I was like, I remember Don Cheeto as Ice. He was like, he was like in one or two episodes, but that Don was, was like thirty years old at that time. So, <laughs> but I was like, oh, that's who that's who that is because I was like, okay, and then they go, they play a basketball game, and then you know. Who, who's the drug dealer named Q? Uh, that's uh Rashad Denton. He's played by uh Easy the Block Captain. Okay, yeah. So Rashad, he says, look, because you know he was going to try to talk all this shit. He says, well, here's here's what we're going to do. Uh, y'all go play the game. If if uh y'all win, give y'all two grand. But if y'all lose, y'all come work for me. So Will cocky. Will just like, all right, uh, Rashad, anyway, you can pay me in twenties. Like he like he's he's a real, <laughs> he's a real cocky motherfucker. So 
As as no, they they bust their ass in the game. His homie just you know lying on the ground. He mad as shit, and I'm just like, all right. So how are we gonna do this thing? And I like how they did the basketball thing in this, you know, couple to t- to the TV show. That's the stuff I like about this show, of how mm-hmm. all the stuff for the TV show is put in in the serious stuff, but it's the way you do it. Cause I'm like, that's the well, way. Would be funny if they would have put him over his head and started spinning. Though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You, you wanted that. <laughs> I would have been funny, like it would have, it would have been like, oh, that's a comment, but yeah, not start spinning like comically, but I'm saying like they put him, like he would have put him on top of his head. He would have said, "Don't spin me." It's like, I don't, I don't know something. He stupid said, "Don't myself, spin me." Like, don't <laughs> spin <something> me. Stupid. <laughs> you get shot immediately. You get shot on on the on the spin time, but it made sense what was happening because uh, he threw the ball, it missed well, and it hit was shot right in the face, and you know. uh Excuse my language, but niggas in their pride, bro. Uh huh. And they was like, "Who threw that? Who that so- was that? You ball? Yeah. Like, we and- all type of balls and dickhead. Like and I'm like, I- yo, I'm just like, yo, man, it? I ain't got time. Fuck this rep shit. My man over there, he threw the fucking ball, and I'm saying, and he hit you because he mad because he fucking lost, and he he run out there like a little pussy. So he run. So now they start they they start stomping Trey. Tra- well, first of all, after Will sock was shot, like. Oh, now you don't got something to hold it. You can't get out of And they start stopping out Trey. And Trey just so happened to have a gun in his uh, book bag. And Will pulls it out, shoots it up in the air, and then Ains ever ever shouts like, oh, he's he's fucked. Nah, you ain't here. When they, before they went to the game, he said, ho, ho, ho. I got that joint on me. I said, oh, my God. Yeah, but he said, we ain't going to need it, though. But I was like, but, you know. But, you know, what? Trey was trying to get him out of that, though. He was. Trey was trying to get him out of there. He was, uh, but you know, all that pride. But then he got arrested, and uh, he see Rashawn right there in the jail cell with him. But then the woke up the next morning. What was the dude's name? Rashawn. Oh, that's really true for real. Yeah. <laughs> I got like three little cousins named Rashawn. Yeah, 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 that's really. So he gets out. He's just like, yo, how he get out? He must have snitched. So now he got a bounty on his head. Oh, Lord. But his mama like, no. Nope. I'm getting you out. He said, yo, boy, ain't even see the judge yet. How he getting out of here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was authentic Philly for real. But it's the thing, like, when would he have had time to snitch then? Negro, Urban you ain't thinking, you know, saying, like, say, you know, they, 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 that's why that's what it is, what it is. So, they drive to the airport, LAX, to go fly over to Bel Air. And the boy right back, he said, I'm not burying my son. Okay. It wasn't no you move with your uncle y'all tell you to move with the bell there. It wasn't that stuff. Mm-hmm. So and then I so we got to LA uh, uh LA. I like that the cab that he whistled for in the show was Jazz. I had to ask Lee Sketch, I was like, wait now, was Jazz from Philly with him or did he meet Jazz in you yeah, know, he, LA? Yeah, Jazz was from Compton. In the show? Mm-hmm. Actually in the show they don't they don't Kind of, they don't say. I'm not sorry, I missed that part, Pinky. Because when Jazz is introduced, Jeffrey was oh, yeah, like, there's Jazz yeah, When they here. introduced him, yeah, but... Um, Wait a minute, he was with... Remember that show? He, 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 he took him to he his homie's with, house. Yeah, right. when he took with, with Carlton. Yeah. When Carlton went to be gangster. That's, oh, yeah. That's right. I remember that episode. I forgot episode. about that episode. I remember, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, so they yeah, got... Do, okay, so they got... And, right? and, and, and... When um, it was that one argument, him and uh, Jazz was sitting, and he was like, yo, man, and from Philly, man, he was like, I don't know about y'all, but in Philly, when y'all do something like that, somebody get rocked on. And Jazz was like, well, I don't know how y'all do it in Philly, but out here in L.A., we willing to take that risk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jazz, that, Jazz, that, Jazz was from, he's from South Central. That's why you're over here, bro. Because I would have said he had lied, and, and, and all the French Prince people would have talked about, so who the hell is he? Get him off. I would say he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Obviously. So then we get introduced to the family. We get introduced to, you know, Aunt Viv. I like this Aunt Viv. I like this Aunt Viv, too. I like this Aunt Viv. I think she's a very compliment to the one from the TV show. Then we get uh, Hillary, uh, Carlton, and Ashley. First Co- of all, Coco Jones is a very beautiful woman. She is. And first of all, you know what? Oh, is that who is playing Hillary? Yes. I like her. Yeah. L- let me put this out here right now. Because in the Fresh Prince, we had dark skin, we always did dark skin and light skin and baby, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, dark skin and baby, yeah, you know, 
uh, light skin Uncle Phil, and you had the children kind of mixed. Bright like, ass Hillary. Everybody's dark, and I like it. I mean, honestly, it kind of makes more sense. It do, cause it, Uncle yeah. Phil's dark. Of course, I, I feel dark, and, and all the kids are dark. So I was like, I like it. It's, it's all a, a matching cup. Also, yeah. and if you was going to base, no shade to Daphne Reed, right? But if you was going to base, do another one of this, and you're going to base it off of Aunt Viv, it should just better be the first one. Yes. Okay. Oh, of course. Because don't nobody, I, she really was literally a placeholder. So. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, shout out to Tim Reed, though, but I'm saying, but, you know. <laughs> shout out to Tim Reed. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, Ray Campbell. Yeah, I'm saying, but other than that, Donald's like, yeah, no, nah, I, I, like, I, I like I like, this one. First of all, H- Hillary is, in, in, in Bella, she's not airheaded. Nope. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. I, I, I love her, like, because she, that's what got me on her. She's just all, uh, and Violet Girl, and er- everything cooning about Carlton is what, that's what kind of Hillary reminded me of with her and her friends. No, this one, she real. Like I was saying yesterday she, when we was talking about it, there's no reason for, they, like, they had to change the characters. Because if this is not a com, like, a comedy, they were comedic devices. Yeah. It serves no purpose for her to be a valley girl in this show because it's not a comedy. Yeah. It serves no purpose. That's why, like, when you were saying about we don't be having a whole bunch of Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey was here for the one-liners. Jeffrey was here to make you feel this big uh, because you I got said a theory something. about new Jeffrey. What'd you say? I got a theory about this new Jeffrey. This okay. small <laughs> theory. Talking Jeffrey. I got a theory. <laughs> <laughs> that fella, what, that, what, what, what theory is this? Go that on. brother got hands. <laughs> we don't know it yet. Yo, that brother of course, got hands. Of course, you gotta you gotta be the house manager for a reason. What did he say? That brother, yeah. that brother, he ex he ex special forces or something. He got I hands. I think I think Jeffrey's gonna Jeffrey be the one gonna take out Rashawn. One of the ones. I think so too. I think he just, Jeffrey's gonna be the one that's gonna take out Rashawn. He too small. I'm saying or, like not. Or. or Rashad trying to take out Will and Jeffrey catch him up and then like do something to him. I ain't Yo, seen, you know, I don't know. When 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 he when when Will tried to sneak off and Jeffrey already at the car, I'm like, nah, son. That was Uncle dude, Phil. Yeah. He he different. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Jeffrey. So, I don't know. Just, this new Jeffrey, he 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 won on ones, man. Yeah, Something about like, like, it, He looks more like a right hand bodyguard opposed to like the butler in the in a the butler. Room. Yes, yeah. yes, and that's that's all I was about to say. I like that that he's not like they they don't just treat him like a butler, like because he don't like they do stuff for themselves. Like Hillary cooks for everybody. Yeah, like he's just like that. Literally, the house manager, not a butler. Like he don't do it for them. They do it themselves. He just like. I guess tidies stuff up. Exactly. Um, I feel or, like or, that or brother got hands. He's weak protection. Uh, man, Olivia Pope. Yeah, he's like a more. Like, he's more of a bodyguard than a butler. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I like that change to him. Which question? Question. Yeah. Slight nitpick. If he was a, supposed to be the quote unquote bodyguard, why doesn't he just try to watch out for Will at school? You know. You know. Wow. Well, no. See, well, he's, a, he's a house. He's a house man. He gotta watch, take care of the crib. Ain't nobody there doing the day. <laughs> huh? Hillary, never. Yeah, right. right, right, Hillary's right, keep going. Yeah. Hillary's into the cooking. Then you know he meets Carlton. Obviously, Carl Carlton's the the snobby rich black kid. Who the snobby, him? the sniffing. He this is man a coon. Is, <laughs> this man is doing coke. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, when I first seen that, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> so that's what he, look." He he he, he he really is in this one, and uh, and like you said, he is automatically jealous of Will from the start. Mm-hmm. So this is just that other male presence that's there, mm-hmm. and it, I like Ashley because Ashley they really didn't change too much. I'm saying she's still smart. She still has the most sense, and you know, gives she's still, still gives yeah. Ashley was a little wokeish. And the other one too, when yeah. she started getting what, that was like when she started getting older though. But she was the one who was kind of down with Will from the jump. Yeah. And the other one, so you didn't really have to do much yeah. to her character. Exactly. So, but uh, I, I was like, okay, I'm like this. It didn't mean Uncle Phil. Now, once again, I'm not. I, I am gonna be biased at first because at first I was like, see, I like the big presence that Uncle Phil brought in the show. You know, he, he was a tall, big guy, but then this one is is you know. 
shortcut. He's, he's giving me more of a quiet power. Quiet, yeah, exactly. That's good. That's a good way of pointing it. Yeah, a, a, a quiet power instead of, instead of like large in charge. Like and it's like, don't fuck with him. But yeah, like you'll, you'll fuck with him at the start, but don't fuck with him. Yeah, because no, he's he. They quietly talk about his his credentials and what he can do. And it's like, yeah, this motherfucker bad. But that's what I'm saying. He yeah. seems more of a. I'm gonna play the background and. Like you gonna know I'm here, but you're not gonna know I'm here until necessary, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's better, and, and especially since it's not accommodated, they can't really keep going back to the fat joke. So they gotta, you know, they gotta change that whole concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah when he was when he was saying how uh, when Carlton was saying like, "Yo, he caught f- like five drug busts and all that," I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, this new Uncle Phil. I will tell you, I'll tell you this one though. Old Uncle Phil ain't having all that cussing in his house. Yeah. They was cussing. They don't they don't cuss. They don't Lord. I mean, let's be honest with you. What they don't really care. I don't think they care. Not not a I don't think they care, care, but it's like we rich and what we're we gonna send you to your room, to your thousand dollar room where we like I don't just, I don't know. I guess so. But old, old Uncle Phil wasn't having that. No, he. I wouldn't. guess if it's not, I guess if it's not like at him, I guess he doesn't care. In this series, I, I feel like say, at some point uh, Carlton finna cuss at him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna do it the last yeah. episode when they didn't show up. Oh, I'm about oh, to say, oh. yeah, I don't need anybody to be swinging. So obviously, I thought he was going. Yo, I thought he was going to ruin the game. I did, I thought he was. I, I thought he was too, going. Bro. I'm, I thought he was I'm like, yeah, trying to block the shot. I, yeah, I thought we was going to go for like you high on coke. I'm like, you you on you on coke. You angry right now? I don't know. And I remember <laughs> somebody. <laughs> I think it was uh, it was the missus. She was saying like uh, well he was on drugs in the old one too. I'm like no no no. He took those by accident. Not these yeah. drugs. <laughs> no, this story. So, he was on on the drugs here. He had his I'm own like, he, little um he, his own little uh cracks. What is it? I, he got his own little. Was, I don't know. I want to say too. I like how um, I like how the uh, what's the kid Jabari who's playing Will. He in that third that third episode when he was at the cookout and all that. Yeah. That was that was old. What that was shit. Will Smith would have been doing in exactly. the show. Because all the all the goofy dancing and all that. I'm like, yo, that's Will right there, yo. I think that third episode really got like really shot shined the Will Smith element to it. Yeah, because it it it, it, it makes it. That's also the way he turned his jacket inside out. Also, yep. But all uh, but in uh, you know, in the episode one where he goes to says like, look, to go hang out with you know, while he goes to practice and go make himself. Then he then he gets introduced to, uh, Lisa. Once again, I had to go ask my wife. I was like, Lisa was near long, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And I was like, okay, because I didn't know he met Lisa this year. But they, re- they, they read, they really read their discount. Because she, I was like, how did she, did she squad with Carlton in the show? Mm-hmm. Nope. So I was like, that so. Was uh, Ty- 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 Tyra did. Jacqueline. Jacqueline did. Oh, okay. So I was like, so, so they, they kind of mixed but up. But that was, was like, college though, still. Yeah. True. True. So I was well, like. Neil Long, Neil Long was college as well, though. Yeah. But he was, so I was like, I like how they brought the dynamic. Because now you got even a more of a dynamic between. With Will and Carlton, because mm-hmm. what they know? He was see, like, see, the, I liked it, but I was also like, "Hey, they gave Carlton a girlfriend, so it's kind of like, you know, it, obviously in the series, he's known for not getting girls, and then here, it's like he had a girlfriend and they went together, and now it's but like, I say, but 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 did he this really, Carlton is completely different because see, the thing is like, yeah, oh, yeah, they hear because he really didn't treat her right. Like I said, he is a arrogant, pompous asshole. I'm wondering when they're gonna get to the to the the issue that they had. Oh, I'm yeah. assuming he was like kept taking drugs or whatever, and she just left him. That's I, that's what I'm assuming that they're gonna say the story is, but they never they never really like revealed that yet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really thinking like one of his little homies called her an N word female dog or something, and he was just like, "Yup." <laughs> 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 the like way that, he was bro. doing the smarter dance and doing the, and, and saying that N word, oh, and it, and it was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, yo, yo, yo!" I was just like. Oh, he's this kind of guy. I got to backtrack a little bit because I wasn't here for the first part. Who came and cleaned up West Philly? We talked about that was West Philly right there. Who came and cleaned up 
52nd Street. Okay, so maybe the guy at the bodega had a broom. He will say he brushed the sidewalk because he knew the camera was going to be out there. But other than that... Bruh. It, it was looking real tidy out there. I was like, oh, y'all came through with the little street sweeper. The street sweeper. No, they don't. They dirtied it back up when they left. <laughs> what happened? They dirtied it back up when they left. Oh, it probably did. It, same night. Same night. <laughs> Just, I didn't get a chance to talk about the first episode yeah. um, with, you know, them in, them being in Philly and shout out Freeway being in there. Yeah, it's alarm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to talk about Opened it right up with Freeway. I said, okay, yep, they pandering to me. Yeah. <laughs> they pandering <laughs> right to me. <laughs> so, that that's what really caused the rift between, you know, Will. He's like, yo, Carlton is, 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 like, is like an asshole. He's a sellout it, the, the things he, it, for the things he does. And, uh, you know, Carlton, you know, he doesn't care. And how dare he say that about Connor? And I was just like. Hey, yo. <laughs> but, and then, Wonder Bread. Then one day, yeah. From, from, from then on, he was doing dirty, different dirty tricks to uh, make sabotage Will because come the second episode, Will yeah, shout to, out to Carson almost killing Will for real. <laughs> he's almost you told me we push him in the pool. Yes, because yeah. he was down there. He was down there for a while. Like yeah, he we, had so, to like, so at least when I there saved him. Yes, and he I, literally and almost just, killed this man. Now for the, the one nitpick, I was like, I'm into the show, but I was like, I think it could have benefited from being. A, a, one of half an hour shows and an hour show, because that first you know, episode all drama like shows all drama shows are short though. See what I said? All these drama shows are short, so that's why they do an hour. They do like an hour, and they do like eight episodes or ten episodes or thirteen episodes. Mm. Instead of splitting it up, I guess here. Yeah, instead of doing twenty four and thirty minutes, they do just an hour and, and thirteen. That's a sitcom formula to have a thirty minute show for real. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a sitcom. I I say what I say, so. but it's kind it's kind of look look how ballers flew because it did, never felt like it was a sitcom. It was thirty minutes, but it's just like you got a lot done in thirty minutes without no commercials. Yeah. You know, they like it's twenty two. It, it, like it would have been thirty minutes with, with, without the commercials. Or with the I commercials, think ballers but, might have been considered more of a dramedy. Oh, it, it is a dramedy. Definitely. But this is like I don't know. I think that folks are afraid to get out of that um, that box of sitcom 30 minutes you know 22 with commercials yeah. kind of thing because when it's a drama you naturally it becomes an hour because some there have been some shows that i've watched that are an hour i'm like y'all could have chopped out at least 20 minutes of this yeah kind of thing so i don't know well, i said but that's just the first episode because the second one was like 40 minutes because mm-hmm. the first one was literally like one hour and uh so yeah he punches carlton and connor we get out the pool Oof. Which caused even more rift. So, you, you talk about Carlton trying to get him get to, get them back. They played drugs in Will's bag. And Will's Not they. Up. Connor. Connor, yeah. Uh, and well, Connor didn't do it, but you know. You talk is that what Carlton said? Uh, well, no, because they, 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 they hired somebody. somebody they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hire somebody to do it. Yeah. To put drugs in his bag and he's still having a piece of I already knew when, when this guy was walking up. I didn't know when he was walking up the wheel that something was going to go wrong. Because he was the way that he was walking up. Let me check your bag. Uh, okay. Like, <laughs> just randomly asked for my bag. Okay. Even, even, so I knew even, something was going to be wrong. I thought even it was going to be a with gun. that, though, I like how Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil went to school and handled that. Mm-hmm. That gave me the old school Aunt Viv, Aunt Viv vibes. Mm-hmm. When, when she you ain't checked the fucking cameras? I said, oh. Oh, see, so yeah. don't piss Aunt Viv off. Don't do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I said, I said, I, 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 I like those elements. And then, so I missed that part. Did they find out that it, somebody planted it? Yes. Okay. They found it out, you know, yeah, because they, they didn't. They, they already said Will did it, and they didn't check the cameras first. So. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So they, what I. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so what I also liked though was like they, so just like with Lisa, they started introducing characters who really didn't even belong there. Why is Fred? Why he here? In in the in a. A political setting. Fred was in Cleveland. You know what I mean? Not so like, I don't not, know not, who Fred not, is. Who's Fred? Fred was uh, Lisa's dad. Who? Uh, the, oh my God, J- John, John, James Amos. John, John, John Amos. Amos my fault. Oh, okay. John Amos. Yeah. And I'm saying like Fred. He he don't live in L.A. He from Cleveland. <laughs> like, well, yeah, then, but, her, but her mom died. So I was like, oh, it changed a lot. Her mom died in the in the 
in the regular show. Yeah. Yeah. And then um and then they introduced what's uh what's the judge, Judge Robinson. I said, all right, is he gonna be a loud a loud uh, ass Sherman like, Hemsley? Uh, yeah, like Sherman, Sherman Hemsley. Hemsley. Oh, right. And then uh who else they had? Well, I, well we ain't see Cornflake yet. I don't know if it's if that's the dude who's on the basketball team with Will, but uh and then you know we gotta get that 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 super uh fight the power white guy teacher. <laughs> oh yeah, no, so I, I don't so was Tyler the, the, the one that be, befriended Will the, the, the first white guy to be in there? Oh, the wait, you just fall? What just happened there? I, I, I don't know if I dropped the phone. Um, oh wait, so I'm, oh my fault. It's my it's my uh thing. No, oh, I'm saying so. Was he somebody who befriended Will in the show? Because I remember him. I remember when he first got there, they so, all gravitated towards him, which they did in, eventually is doing in the show. And it's yeah. Carlton and all. So Will Will had white friends, and but it was like Kellogg Kellogg Lieberbaum or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. Yeah. So and they I don't were, know. They, they were like just people he just kind of talked to. They weren't like friends. friends. Yeah, they he weren't like, like friends. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, he's like he Tyler ha- is it, like becomes his friend in this one. He's one right. the oh, speaking team. of that, speaking of that, remember? Uh, so, so in the in the uh, the basketball game when he was going against Malibu, remember that was the game when he went against a uh, homie from House of Pain. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that was, and he was Alan like, Payne. Yeah, when he was oh. going, that was, yeah, that was the other callback. I'm like, all right, but this time Will won. He ain't lose. He lost in the last one because he let him win. You get that scholarship. To get the scholarship, yeah. yeah that's, okay, that's but in, see, yeah, those are episodes. So they, they did a lot of call, callbacks, and what and one thing I do like is, um, uh, it took a while for everybody because you know Will seeing Uncle Phil in a different light, but it's like he was going to you know different black people events or black men events, and you know the, the uh, crawfish uh, boil. Yeah, you know, yeah I'm a crawl. Uh, I'm a crawl, and and, and yeah, uh, crawl. <laughs> and I, I I like that they. Didn't waste no time with the whole father son dynamic with Will and Uncle Phil, because mm-hmm. you know at the first they was clashing his at the beginning, mm-hmm. and, and like I said, even Uncle Phil has his you know, you know his his securities or you know his, his things about Will in the beginning. But I like when he said, you know, I bought this court for Carlton, you know, but uh, he wouldn't start gonna play in lacrosse, and him and him him and Will was bonding on the basketball court. And, you know, help us out getting the stroke, and then you know he, he took him to the boil, and then now uh, he seen that you know Will's you know Will's kind of like trying try, try to make more of a change, and Carlton's trying to get to his skin, and he sees that you know he's like taking my dad away, from, uh, the dad away from me. Oh, so he. I mean, you playing lacrosse? Them stands <laughs> were. No, it, there was nobody in the naked. stands. Like, <laughs> was, that's how he knew his parents was in there because there was nobody in the stands. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, "This not practice." I thought <laughs> I was confused. So he was like, "He was like, well, he mad because anybody caught said, and nobody else parents there neither." Yeah, this got to be dress rehearsal. Everybody's at the games. Right. They're like, oh, we don't care about the cross. <laughs> he said, uh, five more minutes." But he said, yeah. <laughs> that's why the lead. That's- I was like, why didn't the mom just go one and then the dad went to the other one and then Hillary and Ashley? Because don't nobody want to watch lacrosse, apparently. (laughs) Nobody want to watch lacrosse. (laughs) Yeah, right. Nah, but they said they were going to do half a quarter. I mean, yeah, uh, first two at one game, last two at the other game. Uh, Yeah, why not just split and say mom is at one game and dad is at the other game? Because they ain't want to have to rock, paper, scissors to see which one went to the little cross. <laughs> Hillary yeah, could have right. went to the cross. She would have been on her phone the whole time, it, even though she was. She would have still been there, though. Speaking of Hillary, so like I said, we never uh, you get to touch, touch base on her real quick. Uh, so she's like an inspired chef, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who, who obviously wants to go out there, you know? And, and she's, you know, uh, social media famous. She has like you know all these thousand followers mm-hmm. on TikTok and Instagram and, and on YouTube and stuff. And she always be live streaming and things like that. So uh, her. Uh, when Anvil tried to hook her up with hook her up with the job, of uh, I don't know where this place is at, but you know, they it made was the at food. uh yeah some restaurant. Yeah, and they and they made the food. And they wanted her to tone down her look, uh, the vibrant colors, and you know take the spice out the food because it's a little spicy. Mm-hmm. And, I, and then she said, you know, this is my grandma's recipe, and she saw about some. That, that that's the point right there. I was like, this is a whole different Hillary, and. 
when she if she, if she was standing up for what she believed in and what was right because the wolf of the show would have never she would have accepted she wouldn't work. have worked okay she'd be like, okay yeah <laughs> do i get money though it, yes. it, okay. exactly and i was like this is something different i was like i'm actually liking hillary mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Because they try to first, I was like, "Oh my God, Hillary coming on." Other than, because first of all, she played the character great. She's a beautiful woman, but I'm saying, but just I was like, the character Hillary. I was and like, she's another one that's like, comp- like the com- polar opposite of her on TV. Like yeah. that's not her in real life. Well, I see class like, act. Damn, bro. <laughs> I see class act, sir. What? <laughs> so, that's the one you wanted to hear. Okay. Sure. Why not? But yeah, I, I, I was like, oh, di-, I said, I am. Oh, I just caught that joke. Sorry. <laughs> it was just like, I was like, I'm a thousand percent behind this, behind this hill. Even when, when her her mom was clashing about it. And I was like, yo, I she said, got You do my name under the bus, sis. Like, I got you in here. But also, this is my question I had, right? So was this a, like, was this a place where you would be cooking your own food? Because... Usually, if you work it at a restaurant, it's not something. I mean, unless no, you I think head. I think it was like the, she. I think it was like online recipes. Oh, so like she okay. Probably, it, so it's like a. It was like a. What I would say it was part of like a. You set the camera up, and then you cook the food, and then you know how like the, she the, the Instagram chef, like the infomercials. Okay. Like the camera set up, and then you kind of cook the food, and basically go over how you cook it. Okay. But what was she doing on Instagram? Yes. Like, okay, how can I explain this? She would have had to record it herself, cooking her food, and then doing a recipe. That's why they wanted her to send in the recipes before she made it mm-hmm. and then tone down her outfits. Got it. I, I get it oh, now. Yeah. Right, I yeah. mean, am I, okay, I definitely get why she would be like, well, fuck y'all then. Because mm-hmm. honestly, at this point, I don't need y'all to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've seen plenty of people who probably never cooked a day in their life and now they chef such and such on Instagram because they got 100,000 followers. And? Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, I probably, I can understand Aunt Bill's point, but I'm like, it's kind of, she didn't ask, which is, I kind of felt a certain way about. She didn't ask Hillary, she just kind of did it. I didn't get mad because Hillary messed it up. Yeah, but but even still, even when Hillary messed it up, her fr- her our best friends came to Hillary's aid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, she was still mad at Hillary for yeah, for I, 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 messing I, something I, up that Hillary didn't want to do. I I, I agree. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I, you know I'm glad you brought that up because I I think they about to I don't know what this show going to do, but I think they they going to cause a rift between her and Uncle Uncle Phil because they they, they keep talking about how she was an artist. Mm-hmm. And Viv. Uh, and, uh, oh well, yeah, and the first one she was a what, dancer. So what, yeah. what if this? And how that? What if this caused this? I'm um, to leave, and he just so happened to have a little, another light skin white man. Do do Yo, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill don't out, do chill do out. That, bro. But don't put that out, y'all. Again with this bad juju out in the universe. <laughs> no, I seriously think that she's gonna go and be an artist while Uncle Phil. Maybe Uncle Phil doesn't get the judge role or the district attorney role, but she gets her. She she gets to be an artist, and then again they'll be. Her and then Uncle Phil is going to be probably the less fortunate one, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. If we flip or stuff around, just, maybe. Or they could just all be just not talking to each other. So, it's, I mean, well, it, it, it's, it's how many it's, rich family shows we have seen that happen. So. I mean, it, the house is big enough for them not to sleep in the same room and see each other for days. It is so. getting to the point, but you know what? So now, since it's taking place in modern time. And because I, I, I was just talking about talking about this with, with Key Flow off air, I was like, okay, so now uh, Rashawn sees because as, as well as becoming popular at, in, in at Beller Academy, he sees him on online playing uh, ball over in LA. So he found him, and now I'm just like, that's how episode three ends. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, yo, how are they gonna do this? Because in the old show, you know, say he went back to Philly. But they never came to Bel Air looking for him. You mean yeah. tell me that Negro got a passport to get on a plane? You need a passport to get to LA? Now you do. <laughs> probably not when it was recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, but I know he probably going to probably go to LA or send something to could just LA. drive. It's only a date. It's only about. Uh, Ain't no urban use about the drive to know. My cousins did it. 
It's twenty six hours. Uh, you about to oh, drive to LA just to use? shoot somebody and kill somebody and then leave? No, they not urban use. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> your cousins went on a road trip. Yeah, you know not a murder trip. They drove from Philly to San Diego. That's insane. It is. <laughs> you, you, had, you, had, you had to drive across the Bible Belt. But I don't want to. Driving from here to Florida was um, a struggle. I ain't driving from here to California. Not for nothing. Not for nothing though. My cousin, he he passed the paper bag test. So. That's oh wild. okay. He, he 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 all right. He in the car listening to uh, he, he with the green, with the green book hidden under the seat, listening to Sam Cooke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the green book. <laughs> He don't really need it, but, you know, he keep it just in case. I'm flying over the Bible Belt. I'm sorry. Exactly. Right. (laughs) I ain't going to be stuck in Kansas looking for a hotel. If I'm not flying directly into Chicago or Detroit, no thank you. Yeah, we ain't there. So, that one right there, I'm like, I'll probably catch y'all on the plane, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so what what, do y'all think is going to happen on the next episode? Is that, your, uh, is that your Jeffrey theory that he gonna come in like whoop Rashad's head? Oh no, no, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's, that's happening in the next episode. No, no. Oh. I think we're gonna build up to that, and he might actually think... find him, and then Jeffrey fitting it like off him. Mm-hmm. I'm about to say, I'm about to say yeah, because if you off him and you get rid of him, then he can go. And there's really no point in staying in L.A. You go back. You go back to Philly. But he might end up wanting to stay because stay. there was a point where he could went back to Philly in the the regular show. Uh-huh. Remember, his mom wanted him to move back to Philly in the regular show, and she yeah. was—he was just like, "I like it out here now." Yeah. Why would I leave? Yeah. I already punched Connor, when he, so. <laughs> that's when he tried to stay, the they <laughs> when they when he tried to stay in Philly, NBC came and said, "No, this ain't first person." Yeah, now that was funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> they said, "Your name was Smith." He was like, "Yeah." He said, "Don't this contract say we can have three more seasons with you?" He said, "Yeah, but I'm gonna get in the car." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And so uh, I'm curious about that. I'm curious about how Carlton, obviously, because he he went and got high. Man, damn it! <laughs> he all, you know, you know, nerd yelling in the, in the locker room, and obviously. Oh, uh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, what do you think happens to Hillary? Because technically, she's homeless now. They kicked yes. her out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they kicked her out. I forgot about that. Yep. Damn. Or the mom did, but like, but well, like, she didn't talk about it with Uncle Phil yet. So the mom did it. She was like, challenging to accept it, but like. I wonder how that's gonna go. Oh, he finna maybe be like, get, please, ooh, you better call my daughter she, back in this house. Maybe, maybe she moves in with Jazz. Oh, well, maybe Jazz comes to pick Will up. And he's like, ooh, see, that's the that? other thing because this Jazz ain't really a. He ain't really airheaded. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Nobody no, in the show think, is finna be airheaded. Yeah, that's not yeah, anybody, like, he, any, anybody. He, 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 he a funny boy, but he ain't really yeah. stupid for real. For real, he a hustler. Yeah. Yeah. He is kind of. I don't think they're gonna have anybody be those stupid characters anymore because it's. Not a sitcom, so they don't need him yeah. to be stupid for laughs. I'll say because because even Jazz is like, you ain't gotta tell me everything, but you gotta tell me something. Oh, right. You know, oh, when he was just out on the, on the basketball court, I was like, and he he gave him good advice. And like I said, and then you know, and so when Jeffrey and so, him offered offer him money to leave, and he left, I'm like, so he said he just said like a, a regular cool dude. I think he, he he comes to pick up Will or something, or he comes to bring Will back something that he left in his car, and he sees Hillary, and he's like, oh yes. He's uh, gone. Yes, and the Hillary just, just Hillary just so happens to need somewhere to stay. Maybe they stay together. Hey, it could be. Remember how Melvin saw that girl? Oh my god! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> and, then, and then and then he shot. So yeah, <laughs> just want to talk to you. Hey yo, <laughs> shut up! You know, some bad guy, some thug. I just want to talk, talk to, to you. you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, so so far, I. I'm, I'm, you know, let's be real. I'm not even gonna be able to say this. I was a complete nergasm. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Yep. I, this thing is a complete nergasm. This thing is is damn good for, for for the start. I can't wait to. So it's every Monday. I think it's every oh, Sunday. Every I think. Sunday. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Because I'm gonna know. be on this because Peacemaker ends this week. So I'm just like, okay, we, we oh, better. it does. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so. All right, I gotta watch the rest of the the second half of the that episode then. Yeah, so we can record that. And I was like, yeah. So there you have it. So now uh, I I'm uh, so glad though that this is a regular drama and not like a Tyler Perry is drama because I probably I would have turned it off. Oh my god, bro! Because if I turned this on, it was like the Oval or some stupid shit. I'd have been mad. No, 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm Hillary glad that they take this seriously. With Dr. Phil's baby. And not the Uncle Phil's baby. Like, whoa! Okay, yeah, Topper, you just want you off the age, turn it off. <laughs> so, so so weird like that. But no, this is this is good. And I like how they, they bring in the Carter's elements. not sleeping with Lisa, but he's sleeping with his big sister Hillary. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real. They are yeah. I like how they add all the elements and stuff like it, it from the from the show into into this and I, I I'm loving it so far. At first I think I was also, like I'll be I was really I'm... afraid. I didn't watch it last night cuz one I was tired, but I was just like, I don't want to see this mess. They're going to do something stupid. But from what I did see, it wasn't bad. Yeah, that's why everybody be going into the mindset of, like, it's going to be stupid. But, like, I would be like, just give it a try. Like, some shows I know it's stupid and I watch anyway. But like this one, I'm like, nah, just give it a try. Hashtag give it a chance, yo. Yeah. My biggest also, thing is I'm just tired of y'all rebooting stuff. That's that. It don't have nothing to well, do specifically yeah, with Bel Air. It's just that, like, that, all right, because why are we doing this again? That too. Actually, they wasn't gonna do it, but then that 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 thing got so much clout. They was like, "Well, I guess we yeah, have to." And Wilson, they weren't going, they weren't thinking about it at all. Don't you know? Yeah, they took a he took a picture with him at the premiere where he had um them seventeen belts on his shirt, and they was like, yeah, "They I passed was like, the door." I was like, "What is what is going on here?" You've been famous for five minutes, and you already dressed some weird. Come on. The, the one thing I belts. the one thing I do like too is like people. So like people on my group chats or whatever is like, "Yo, Cube." Why? Why he sound like they was like yo? Why? Cause you know, everybody like everybody calling him Rashad. I mean, on here we calling him Rashad, but we battle rap fans we just calling him Easy because that's his battle rap name, and that's the I'm glad that's the name he using for his acting credits too. Yeah. But they just like yo, why he sound like he rap? And I'm like, no, that's just how Philly boys talk. Like we keep, I keep trying to tell y'all. Like I said, that's he how they talk. Opposed to you know Tessa Thompson and Creed. That yeah, joke. but see, but I mean, no, no, no. But see, that's that's the thing, though. Tessa, Tessa, not from here. E- Easy's from here. Oh no, no, no. We know, but we yeah. just we had to have so, a reason to make fun of the John. The but John, no, yeah. when that dude ran up on him in front of the uh, corner store, yeah, trying to be political. Poppy correct store. Here. They said poppy store. Poppy <laughs> I was like, oh, this kid from Philly, because you can hear it now. As I'm getting older, I'm like, oh, I can hear it when you see somebody on TV. I'm like, you're from around here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, because I don't know, it's something about the way we talk. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, they got the vernacular down pat. Like, when I'm watching it, I don't feel like it, it don't sound forced. Like, he sound like he's from here. As I say, like, the, and, the way people in Philly talk is different from New York, Chicago, Boston. Yeah, everybody has yes. it. We, even though, if you if you in this area and you listening, when somebody says, oh, you got an accent, where you from? Do not say, I don't have an accent. You have an accent. It's fine. It's, it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'd like to think our accent is somewhere in the middle of, like, down south, yeah. New York, and a little teeny bit of Baltimore in there. Just a little bit. I that's I think that's what we uh-huh. sound like, even though we don't realize it. No, we damn sure don't. Uh, I will say uh, a bonus that I really really like that they that they do seem like every time we see her, Lisa has a different hairstyle, different natural yeah. hairstyle. Like, well, not natural, but you know what I mean. Like, has no, different no, hairstyle. Yeah. Yo, and I, I like, want to bring, like bring Tevin Campbell back. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> yeah, okay. Who would be the Tevin Campbell of now? Tevin Campbell. Shut up. Uh. <laughs> He can know. do it. <laughs> you know, it'll probably, probably be like two changes somewhere like different. No, or future. Hell, no, no, no. An R and B singer, sir. <laughs> do you think? Do you do you think uh, they have more guest appearances? I think probably. Because so. Big Boy was Big Boy was okay, but Big Boy they was making too much a big deal about this Big Boy interview. Like the whole city and her Big Boy. <laughs> what happened? Because <laughs> like he was Uncle Phil was getting interviewed by Big Boy. Big boy from Big Boy's not neighborhood, outcast, Big not, Boy, not, or Outcast? Not no, outcast. Big Boy's neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big boy. And yeah. it was. Why, and it was like, like, why are you still Big Boy? I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like everybody, everybody was calling in asking. For, it was like it did not help his campaign, but it's like the way that they made it seem like the whole city was listening to this to this show. Yeah, like, well, not they, no, because he still Phil one of them. He one of them ones. Like, yeah, he was just like yeah. Nah, you know, okay, Yama yeah, Crow. What you wanted for was he said. You know, you speak for a lot of the African American community, and they want to hear from you. And then he was like, "Yeah, let's do it." And, and, and every single herb if they called it, talking about so, you know, man, how many stacks you sitting on, <laughs> bruh? It, 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 it would have been funny if he was more proper though. If he was like, "Yeah, uh, 
I'm gonna go come and get with my African American roots. Like, are you ready? He's like, yes, let's get to this. I see what his talk said something very proper, and then they would have just kept asking him and asking. It would have been like King Booker and Crown Thug. Yeah, he was all proper. Yeah, yeah. He was all proper, and then oh so hell no, one just called. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. But nah. Did I see in, in passing that he's he's an alpha? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. On that episode, he he did like a whole routine. He did the whole joint. Yeah. <gasps> I hope he really it's, it's is. It's cold. I say, yeah. I, I hope, hope he really is, bro. We don't want and another that scene, situation. The scene was hilarious to me because <laughs> all the older, all the older people were like, yeah, do it, do 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 it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, all right, all right, I'm gonna do it. So he did it with the people. And then they they standing there doing their poses too. I'm like, what is what is going on? Here? That's like, what they yeah. really be doing, bro. They really be. <laughs> the older people was getting mad at him because <laughs> on the pose. <laughs> That's how all they right. be. You ever been in an area where there is a bunch of uh forty to fifty year old cues? But. I, I I thought they the way that they was talking. I thought they were going to get up and do it with him. He, oh, all his no. older classmates doing it. I already knew, but then the younger people got up there doing it. Then it was like, yeah, do it. Like, how about y'all come do it? Y'all want him to do it so bad? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. We just want to see where you stand. But anyway, guys, yeah. we about to hey, end look, it here. He, he wanted to get that uh that endorsement. He got it. He got it. Or, he but, almost didn't. Yeah, yeah, he got a handshake. Also, 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 I know we Carson is like supposed to be the quote unquote bad guy ish type of thing in the show, but that guy sucks. He said sit, sit him there talking to Carson off for all the minutes, knowing that he ain't got this job. <laughs> and then <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's a nothing. Fact. Yeah, that's a come fact. on, man. That is right. Shout out to Carl to read run. I just read run also, so that was dope. I see him having that John Lewis book in his hand. I was like, yeah, I just read that. I'm looking at it right now in front of me. So shout out to that too. But, I turn around the book, run to them drugs. What you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, guys, uh, we're we about to get up out of here. Uh, make sure you guys support uh, the, the, the channels that we have, NC Level Up and NC Studios. Shout out to my man, Swag on Zero. I know, you know, yeah, late night, so I'm sorry he couldn't join you know, this episode. But, once again, it's great to have the crew back and everything like that. Make sure you check us out on all the podcast platforms and all that great stuff like that. So, we're about to get up out of here.